Hello beautiful people, welcome back to Cook with Atomiki. On today's video, we are going to cook sweet potatoes and miyawa for dinner. And as you can see, I'm already preparing to start peeling the sweet potatoes. So guys, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Turn on notification bell so that each time I post a new video, Share this video to your friends, hit the like button, and let's grow together. <laughs> so as I was spilling the potato sweet potatoes, I was also jazzing with pressure at the same time. Yeah, so this um, this sweet potatoes we put this in the garden, we put it in the garden besides the compound on the side. So we have a lot of sweet potatoes there. So this is if you want to eat anything like peanut butter sauce, like any kind of sauce that goes with sweet potatoes, we just go behind there and paste and then we come and, and cook. So I started to take cooking a little bit late, but let's see how it goes. After peeling the sweet potatoes, it was time to put the potatoes on fire. I got some banana leaves, covered it and then placed the saucepan on the fire. Of course, I added some water like you guys saw. Potatoes cannot be cooked without water. Of course, here locally, that's how we do it. And then I'll cover it and leave it to boil for like 30 minutes and it will be ready. Then we move on to the sauce. To the bine, <laughs> so as the sweet potatoes is boiling, I started preparing the binewa. So like you guys can see the binewa is with lambs. This one, when you're going to grind it like to the grinding mill, you roast it just a little bit and then you take to the grinding mill. Then the grinding mill will make it like in lumps like that. So this sweet potato, sorry, this vinegar, it tastes nice. To me, it tastes better than the other one, which we, we just make it in flower form. I think very soon, I'm also going to show you guys. So I poured it inside water and then started mixing it to dissolve all the lumps in it. And then next there is the only thing I'm going to use for the sauce is uh, onions and and what onions and tomatoes that i've already cut and then 
later on when the sauce is ready i'll add salt plus royco and then that was it you guys it tasted very nice you guys should try it no cooking or no what but it was by the way to those people who cook vinyawa with cooking oil i don't know how you do it but vinyawa is supposed to be cooked without cooking oil it will produce its own oil and it tastes very nice and vinyawa is eaten with some people you can eat with rice sweet potatoes or matok and even cassava yeah cassava and yams that is what i use for eating my vinyawa i don't know what you use for eating your vinyawa please let us know in the comment section so i finished mixing the lambs i added the tomatoes and onion inside the the mixture and then i was checking the sweet potato this is ready it was ready i had to carry it down and now put the sauce on fire this sauce put a lot of water then you leave the water to boil until everything has gone down like you can see there's a lot of water so it has to boil until it's done so you guys can see it was already dark but <laughs> yeah, i finished cooking very late you can see it's now boiling it's now getting thicker so when you see it's getting thick you know your vinyawa is getting ready very well So at this point our vinyawa is 99% ready. So it was left for me to add salt and the royco powder and yeah we'll be done. So I added salt and cardo. <laughs> I mix and then uh, I mix some royco with water. I dissolve some royco in water and then I also added it to give it that extra flavor. Take it to the next level. So after adding the royco, mix it and you can see the thickness has increased, it has gotten more thicker. So that is how I, I always like to cook my vinyawa. I love it thick, whereby when I'm eating it, I just gollo it or I just char it. <laughs> Lemon do so guys, at this point, I'm basically done with cooking. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please try it out and let me know in the comments. I also tell us how you cook it in your homes but for us and for me that is how I cook it thank you so much for watching this video if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing turn on notification bell so that each time I post a new video you're here to buy food and share the video also and hit the like button I love you guys so much and I hope to see you in my next video as always bye